I'll tell you what, pal. Welcome home, pal. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Yeah, glad to have you back. Yeah, thanks, Brad. He, he came as a, uh, from Virginia Golf Club, and to, uh, I didn't even meet him. I saw this blonde bomber on the practice fairway, and I said to the boys in the shop, I said, who's the strawberry ball in the, on the practice fairway? I said, oh, he just, he just joined up. He came to Virginia, I think. I said, he doesn't swing the club very bad. So we never, we never even shook hands introduced ourselves or anything, I just I might be out giving a lesson and and then he, uh, I, he might be doing something I just walked past him ten, it didn't change his swing or anything, just uh, just this or just that. And then Simon Mackay, who was the CEO of PGF, he was instrumental in getting Greg to go down to Sydney to do his apprenticeship after having run, run nearly everything around the place as an amateur around around the Queensland area. Charlie gave me the opportunity of, of coming back here to, to be an assistant pro when things weren't working out for me down in Sydney. Uh, and you know, you're always in, uh, indebted to people like that because uh, he didn't have to do it. You know, Charlie's got a big heart and he likes to see people who want to succeed go on and succeed. And I think that's why, as I said in the press conference, that's why he, uh, if I wanted to go out there and practice two hours, I had to do my job work though. I had to kind of, make up time somewhere along the line, but uh, if I wanted to go out there and practice, he was always willing to let me do that. And, uh, you know, just maybe there's one hour there, and one hour here and there uh, was enough to, to get me to where I am right now. I was talking to the girl I went to school with, Shirley Stokes. And uh, she uh, she said, why don't you go and see Reg Want? You're mad on sport. So I, I rode out to Killingetta Tweed, and Reg, she uh, met Reg. So, uh, Mr. Want, Reggie, put me on. Never had any money or anything. I used to go to, pair, pair, go to work with a pair of sh shorts and a, bloody, you know, a pair of togs. And he, he changed all that for me. And uh, I, I started my apprenticeship then, in 53. And I uh, had never swung a ball as an amateur. The club as an amateur, or anything in that situation. And in that stage, we had to do two years apprenticeship. And uh, anyhow, I got through, and I uh, and I had this. They gave me a little badge that I wore right there, the PGA, Professional Golfers Association, Queensland. And I used to wear that everywhere. I'm proud as a punch about that badge. I will tell you, that's because I'd never had anything given to me before in that sort of situation. And, I, and that really, uh, it really uh, gave me some enthusiasm and some reward. And very professional. It, it takes it takes them into. Uh, the, the whole life. Margaret, my wife, used to, we used to open an account for them when they started working for us. We opened a bank account for them, and then what money they win, they give some of it to Margaret so she could bank their money. And that was, and i tell them how to invest it, how to, how to be managed, and, and then how to be nice to people, how to do the right thing by people. You, you're never above anybody else. You're not worse than anybody else, but you're not above anybody else. I'm, I'm proud that I'm lucky. Lucky to get to have what, I, what I've done and what I've been able to do. I'm proud of the fact that people have helped me to do it. I'm just a nobody be a, a, a prouder PGA member than me, I tell you. I, I just, to get what I, where I've gone and from out of, out of the mulga, out of the bush onto a dirty farm, then down to Kira and then into, into pro golf, I, oh, it's, it's got me, uh, nobody would be luckier than me. Hi, I'm Charlie Earp and I'm really PGA proud. Mm -hmm.